Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is Jazzvinder and welcome back to your daily dose of wisdom, motivation, and inspiration. And in today's talk, we're going to be talking about, as the title suggests, understanding your dual your dual nature. So before we before we just dive into it, something that I that I you come across a lot in you know self-development teachings, spiritual teachings, and so on. Uh, it, it seems like a lot of people, and we talked about this last time. There's there's a lot of difficulty with this idea of working on yourself on the one hand and loving yourself and accepting yourself on the other hand. Um, this question down here at the bottom: Are you a Sikh? Uh, I practiced Sikhism for for a time in my life. Yes, I did. Um, currently, um, I would consider myself more aligned with uh, just spirituality, um, meditation, without any particular denominational bindings, if you will. Um, love the teachings of all spiritual traditions, by and large. So I'm um, not really a shaman, that's something I don't know much about, but but there's quite a few spiritual teachings in the world that I that have a very special place in my heart. So we're talking about we're talking about a lot about self-acceptance, self-love in a healthy way, and still working on yourself, developing, getting better, without beating yourself up. And I found that a lot of people Especially in the spiritual community, it's there's a lot of self-loathing. There's a lot of beating themselves up as they're trying to work on themselves like they're broken. And it's not a matter of you're not broken, first of all. Let's get that let's get that clear right away. You're not broken, there's nothing wrong with you, but you don't understand yourself well enough to balance your needs, to balance the different sides of who you are. And maybe that resonates with you right off the bat. So what I want to talk to you about today is your lower nature and your higher nature. So the quote of the day, since we always have a sort of a, a quote from someone uh, that, that comes at the beginning of this, well again, today's again is, is from me, it's a Jasmine original, and it's that somewhere between a thinking beast and a fallen angel is a human being. I like that, I hope you like it too. So let's talk about the lower nature, the thinking beast part of our nature. Sounds good? Okay, cool. So. On the one hand, your 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 lower nature, as I'll call it, your animal nature, it's driven by self-preservation. So these account for your your selfish needs and desires. Now, I don't mean selfish in a negative way. They can become negative, but there's nothing fundamentally negative about your need for food or shelter or sleep or you know human contact, sexuality, uh, your social status, money, power, fame. The, in themselves, in and of themselves, there's nothing wrong with any of these. Okay, but so they're they're all part of life, but they're not ends in themselves. So just think about some of the people you know who pursue, let's say, um, let's say social status, money, power, or fame, just for their own sake. Uh, usually, people like that, it doesn't. It's very easy to to get those things. Uh, it's very e it's very easy to get those things at the sake of your integrity. Okay, those things just by themselves they, they don't make for a meaningful life, a life that will be well remembered by others. Now, but like I said, those are not bad things. There's nothing wrong with food, shelter, sleep, sex, social status, money, power, fame. These are all part of life. And in some and during some phases of our lives, these things can be extremely necessary. Okay, but Let's let's go over to let's go over to what the higher nature is, more of your angelic nature, and we'll let's see how that helps us understand the place of our lower nature. So the higher nature would be driven by love and compassion, and these are things like uh, selfless giving, teaching, devotion, devoting yourself to something fully, sacrifice, giving something of a lower nature up to receive something of a higher nature, uh, honesty. A lot of time, being honest can really go against your selfish desires for social status, money, power, or fame. Being honest often means giving up opportunities for one of those. Does that make sense? So being of service again, uh, your higher nature is the, is the realm of your ideas, your visions, your dreams. Your, your desire to really be somebody, not just to have things and to do fun things, but to really be something more, something really amazing, and some, somebody memorable, somebody who has impact. There's someone named uh, Nito Kubain, and he said, 
Um, he never wanted to be successful, but he did want to be significant. That's, what we're t that's part of your higher nature. So these ideas for achievement, fulfillment, these visions, pursuing a vision, this is more of your angelic nature. This is more of the, 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 the fragment of God in you, if you want to put it in those kinds of terms. So you see that a lot of these things like self-sacrifice and service and de devotion and, and the needs of others and, and, um, and really ter becoming something more, it, 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 you can see how it would conflict with your lower nature, your basic needs, and also it's, it, they leave very little room to be selfish. Now, but those needs of the lower nature, they're still there. Remember I said that you're in between a thinking beast and a fallen angel. You're not just, you're not just this world of vision and dreams and ideas, and you're not just this world of fulfilling your basic needs. But they're, they're both there. They're both there. So how do you honor both of them? The reality is that when you make your higher nature the priority, you don't punish or start to hate or, or deny yourself any of these lower needs. Lower doesn't mean bad, it just means lower. It's still on the ladder, it's still part of life, but you make your higher nature a priority. You make going in the direction of your dreams a priority. You make selflessly giving to other people and you make honesty and you make self-sacrifice and teaching and sharing and refining yourself into the priority. And what happens in the process is that all of your lower needs are met in the appropriate proportion. They're no longer ends in themselves, but they do become part of sort of pleasing your own world of your senses because you are a body with the five gateways of, of the senses. And because of that, you can't just pretend like it's not there. Any, any spiritual practice that debases the, the lower nature, the animal nature of a human being is, is, in my opinion, misguided and being propagated by people who do not love themselves. Do not become one of those people. It's very important to love yourself and to understand all of your needs, to serve them properly. Your lo the needs of your lower nature will be served in proportion when your higher nature is a priority because, of course, we're not here saying to give up food, shelter, sleep, sex, social status, money, power, and fame. Those things can actually, they all come to people uh, who who really pursue the life of their dreams, but they come in a special way. Um, they don't come in, in a empty, materialistic kind of way. Does that make sense? So I hope that idea has served you. Please contact me at J underscore S underscore Khalsa, K-H-A-L-S-A, for more information about my one-on-one -on -one coaching and, and other things that I do outside of just these, these videos, which of course I enjoy and I hope you enjoy as well. Thank you so much, have a beautiful day, and we'll talk again tomorrow, bye-bye.